Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back for another video. And in this one, I'm gonna show you how to make tech house, minimal house type of beat. Also, this video is sponsored by Loop Cloud, which is a plugin that will help you organize your samples and find new samples and loops for your music. It's actually free, so check out the link in the description. And I'm gonna show you a few things that you can do with it. But now, let's just get started with the song and I'm gonna talk about Loop Cloud later. So we are going to do this from scratch, except few of these samples that I already prepared for the drums, but that's pretty much it. So the BPM is set to 123 and that's a pretty good BPM for Tech House. You can go up to 128 as well. Now let's get started with the drum loop. So let's put in the kick. Just do a simple village four steps. Then put in a clap of your choice. This one is more subtle. Then I have this little percussion that's gonna play a huge role in the whole song. So make sure to pick a percussion that you like. It's kind of gonna play throughout the whole song in the background. And also I'm gonna enable swing, which will make this more groovy and a bit of beat. Also let's add some extra percussion right here. You can go as crazy as you want with this. The drum loop and percussion is a big part of Minimal House and Tech House, so get creative. Also, I'm going to automate the pitch of the percussion, so set it to 12 and create automation clip. And set it up like this. Then let's add in some hi-hats. This closed hat, this open hat, and one extra. And just switch in between them. Add it in the playlist and make the other one unique and just uh, create a little variation. And that is our drum beat. I also added stereo shaper on the percussion to make it more wide in the mix. Now let's add a bass and to do that I'm gonna browse through some sounds on Loop Cloud. And to make Loop Cloud work with your FL Studio you can add the Loop Cloud plugin and basically what happens it synchronizes with the Loop Cloud software and any samples that you preview in the software will be played in FL Studio and will even uh, snap to the BPM you have on your song. And basically how Loop Cloud works, you can basically put all your samples that you have in your computer into Loop Cloud by just drag and dropping the folder with your samples and it will organize them in a really cool way. That way, if you want to find something, it will be way easier to search for it than it would be in a basic FL Studio browser. So for example, we can search for an acoustic guitar and it will go through your sample packs and find all the acoustic guitars and then you can easily just click through them and test them out in the song right away. So that's a really cool thing and if your samples aren't enough, they also have a store that you can browse through and if you want, you can buy some credits and, and then buy loops and samples for these credits. And you can test out all the samples before you buy them. You can test them out in the song itself, which is probably the only platform that allows this. So yeah, make sure to check it out. It's free and you get a bunch of free samples and loops every week as well. Link will be below in the description. So now let's search for this bass. So I have the genre set to minimal house and now I'm gonna click loops only. And you can also click this button which will randomize the search results so they will not be in any particular order. And yeah, let's uh, select the instrument to be bass only. And here you can see how easy it is to search for stuff whether it be on the store or in your own sample library. So this sound is pretty good. To preview it in the song, I just go to FL Studio, go to my Loop Cloud plugin, right click it, go to Piano Roll and insert a note in there. And that will play the sound we have selected from the sample library. And remember, I don't even own this sound, but I can test it out. We can even make edits to the sound before we buy it and the edits will be previewed in FL Studio. So they really let you test out the sound, see if it fits to your song before you actually wanna purchase it. If you don't like the edits, you can reset the pattern and adjust it again if you want to. 
So let me adjust the start time. Now that's actually pretty good. Let's uh, cut it like this. And there's a few more things you can do in the editor. You can change the pitch. You can even play the loop on half tempo or times two speed. It will still fit the song, but as you can hear, it doesn't really work for this one. One more thing you can do here, you can set the key of the samples to the key of your song and it will automatically pitch the samples up or down based on the key you set. And of course, after you made the edits, you can then download the edited sample or loop and put it right in your FL Studio and the edits will stay there. Okay, so that is some of the features of Loop Cloud. If you want to check it out, the link will be below in the description. As I said, it's free. Now, I actually want to change this bass to a different sample. I was browsing through some samples before and I had this cool bass. Luckily, there is a history option on Loop Cloud, so I can go back and check out the samples I previewed before. So let's go do that. <laughs> And yeah, this is the one I was looking for. A really deep bass, that's kind of what I want for Tech House. Let's pitch it up by one. And let's get this sample. It's actually free because you get some free samples every week. And this is one of them. Now let's sidechain the bass with the kick. If this is too fast for you, I got a tutorial for that. Link will be below in the description. It's a pretty simple thing and I use it pretty much in every track. So the sidechaining is done. Now let's add some percussion or hi-hats. I like this loop. Now a nice impact sound would sound good at the beginning, so here's what I'm gonna use. But let's pitch it down. I'm also gonna automate the volume of the hi-hats just to make it kind of interesting so they slowly rise up. In a minimal house and tech house there's a lot of automation clips and a lot of experimenting with the sounds, changing them as the song plays through. Also, let's boost the high frequencies of them and add some reverb on them. Now I want to add some synth to make a melody with. Now in Tech House and Minimal House, melodies are usually not very complex. I mean, you can make whatever you want, but I'm just gonna go with some very simple melody. I feel like it's more about playing with the melody, playing with the sound and adjusting it. That's where you can get really creative. That will do for now, but let me test out a few different sounds. I want something pretty subtle. Now as the song progresses, I would like the melody to progress a little bit as well. So let me make some adjustments. I still don't like the sound, so let me try a few different ones. I want something shorter. Yeah, that's pretty good. And let's make a little edit to the melody on the fourth repetition as well. Now I want to do a few automations. As I said, Minimal House and Tech House is all about automating the sounds and changing them as the song progresses. So let me automate the cutoff here. But let's make the automation pretty subtle. Also, let's detune this sound a bit more. That sounds pretty good. 
Again, this type of stuff is all up to you. Just uh, play with the sound and do it based on your imagination, you know? Just think of what you want from this sound and then try to adjust it so it sounds like you imagine. So at this point I keep adjusting the melody and some of the automations and now I thought I wanna have this distorted effect at the end of uh, some repetitions. So that's why I started messing around with the distortion to achieve this effect. And it didn't go well at first. Brace your ears. But then after some trial and error, this was the effect that I wanted. And then I played with some more effects like reverb and basically the pro tip of the day is automate the shit out of everything, you know? Just play around with everything, it's gonna be so much fun and anyone can do it, so just do it and see what you come up with. Then I went back to Loop Cloud and looked for some sweeps. Then I started to make some sort of an arrangement and you can just basically layer the sounds on top of each other and then I added this pause and then all of the sounds started playing. And to keep the song fresh and make it continue progressing, I added some more claps and hi-hats later in the drop and I also added one more percussion loop. That way there is always something to be excited for in the next repetition, so the song keeps progressing and changing. And I also felt like this song needs like a vocal effect impact sound, so this is what I found. And the last thing I added to the drop was just one note of this pad or a string playing throughout the whole drop. So it's just there in the background playing the whole time. And that is pretty much it guys. Now we are ready to hear the finished result. Enjoy. And that is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you can try making some tech house yourself, it's a lot of fun. And don't forget to check out the Loop Cloud, link will be below in the description, it's free to use so no reason not to check it out. Anyways, thanks again and I'll see you in the next one, goodbye.